Hey guys. Sorry, I had this thing in my... Oh, I always put my hand in my camera. Anyways. <clears throat> so I saw this is the end today. And where is it? I just got... I just saw it, really. Sorry, I'm trying to... Freaking hilarious, man, to be honest. Freaking hilarious. It's like towards the end. Oh, gosh. I'm gonna have to... Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so, this is the end. It's about all those big comedians. And, um, basically it's the apocalypse going on. It's an apocalyptic movie. And, um, <coughs> basically there's six guys. Um, Seth Rogen, G. Barry Hill, Danny McBride, Jonah Hill, Jonah Hill, Craig Robinson, and James Franco are stuck in the apocalypse. And when you find out what this, what is going on in this apocalypse, hilarious. Man, the ending of this movie is freaking funny. I still feel like I'm in the movie. Not just my brain. All right, anyways. So yeah, and you get the nice, see that nice song, um, romance thing for me. I really want to have a spoiler talk for this song. Tomorrow I'm going to have a spoiler talk. And by the way, instead of three weeks of being, four weeks now. So, if I don't review something, four weeks. It might even be five at one point. In its first four weeks. No, no, we'll, we'll do this. In its first five weeks. I don't, and it's five weeks old. I will not review it. But that gives me more reviews. So. Um, so. This is the end. Freaking hilarious. This script was so funny. I mean, um, Seth Rogen and um, Evan Goldberg wrote the script. And, um,. They wrote, they wrote The Watch, which I think is a very underrated comedy, in my opinion. Freaking hilarious movie. Y'all gotta see both of these, The Watch, and this is the end. This comedy of the year. That, I haven't really seen any comedies this year. I haven't seen The Heat yet. I don't know if I will. Mm, who knows. I will see Off City University and um, Despicable Me 2 and The Lone Ranger, but first I want to see Pacific Rim this weekend. So this weekend Pacific Rim and then The Lone Ranger the next week and Despicable Me 2, I don't know. Anyways, um, so yeah, the script is very good, the, the actors are so awesome, and the visual effects are very well done in the movie, even though it's a comedy. And it blends, it balance, has a nice little balance between dark and, um, um comedy. And it, the twists and turns are so funny. I mean, I'm gonna have to, yeah, spoiler talk, coming tomorrow. I really gotta, yeah. And this really does deserve its R rating, because, I mean, for heaven's sakes, it's all the language, really. But, um, yeah. All the languages, yeah. Yeah. Too much language, to be honest. But, um, it's very funny. You also get some cool little surprises of, um, cameos. Like, I'm gonna name the cameos at the end of this video. Y'all probably all seen them. So, seen them really. I'm gonna name the cameos that I remember. No, scroll them. I'll name them right now. Well, yeah. That. Dude from Kick Ass, um, Christopher Men's Plus or something, and Channing Tatum. Those are the ones I remember. And Emma Watson, of course. And Michael Cera. But you, you know them. You know they're in the movie if you've seen the trailer. Anyways, so. I don't really like how this movie was directed. As I said, um, the balance was very nice, too, so. And the plot, the way, it just gets better and better as it progresses, and it gets funnier and funnier. I mean, in the score from the movie, it has all those like, songs like Gangnam Style, and it has like, very funny songs, which I really like about it. This movie should have made more money when Nash still came out. I mean, it only made like 
20.5 million. That's kind of sad, don't you think? It's just the end. It should have made more. Everyone was so excited for it. This was one of the most anticipated movies of the year. You gotta remember that. And it exceeded my expectations, but I do have a couple problems. For one, it's way too long. And it drags on a little bit, but then it kind of goes into its own way. Like, eh, I don't really care. I'll stay with it. Um, so, that and um, also, they throw a lot of dick, dick jokes. Dick, dick jokes? Joke, jokes in there. And oh, oh, by the way, here's another good thing. I like how they play their exaggerated versions of themselves, like Johnny Hill and Ice Dude. And her name's all that. Not really, but eh, anyway. And Jay Barry Hill's kind of a dick. And Danny McBride is an ultra dick. Especially as the movie progresses. But the funny thing is, the Chain and Kaden came you know, it's, it's, it's just one of the parts of the mission. Even though this movie's gonna be out of theaters pretty soon. So, you know, I see it before it's four weeks old. Well, before it's five, technically. I'm d I just want to review more movies, so I'm gonna have a five, five week, um, five week mark. You gotta remember that. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. And the, the dick jokes were very flat most of the time. Even though they did throw one, and that was very funny. And, um, yeah. And it involved James Franco. Anyways. Oh, and old Dan and Bride say something about James Franco. Anyways. So, this is the end. I'm gonna have to give it an A minus. It is freaking awesome, but it just has this. It kind of drags on, and it's too long, and. Yeah. And it has those dick jokes that work. That movie really fell flat. Some other joke kind of fell flat too. So A minus for this is the end. Please see if you have not already. I don't know who hasn't. Besides Christopher and all my other friends are not allowed to see these type of movies. I don't get it, but they aren't. So and you're freaking fourteen to be able to um, I did that bad because there is some very crude things in this movie. So anyways, this is the end. A minus. Flat out hilarious movie. See it. Alright, so that's my review of this is the end. Remember, Saturday is Pacific Rim. Next week. Um is the Lone Ranger. Next Saturday is the Lone Ranger. And the way way back, maybe Thursday. I think I entered a ticket drawing. To get a screening to it, we don't know. I, I don't know if we're gonna win it. If I, if I win an invitation to that screening, I will be reviewing the way way back on Friday because screenings at 7:30 at night. So, so I'll review that Friday if I get a ticket to yeah, if I get the pass to the screening. So yeah, and then Saturday will be Pacific Rim. So maybe a two-day review thing. I do. I do. I honestly don't know right now. I don't know when I'm gonna find online and stuff like that. I don't know if people gonna upload some movies. I don't know. Actually, the reason I actually watch this is the end on YouTube, just like you're on right now. But yeah, so if you wanna check it out, I, it's called The End 2013. It's the it, so yeah. Anyway, so this is the end, A minus. Alright, so that's my review. This is the end, so peace. Peace, guys.